this video is going to show you how to put an email opt-in form into your Facebook page and also have a thank you for subscribing page in the same process. So first thing you do is you log in to your Facebook account. Under account in the top right you'll see a link that says manage page and I actually have a demo page for a nonprofit and I'll show you what the end result is going to look like first and then I'll show you how to do it. So in this case we have an example where we're looking for volunteers for a super duper top secret event to find out more please enter your name and email below okay it's a way to really um, you know cultivate your donors and identify like who is a core supporter versus who is not okay so you go in here you're gonna enter your name and email click on sign up and then it will lead back to this page. Thanks for signing up. You'll be hearing from us very soon. And that's it. Person has not left Facebook, but yet you're able to collect emails from your Facebook page. Okay? So here's how you do it. You go into your Facebook page. And under your main image, you have a link that says edit page. All right? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to actually add an application called Static FBML. And if you don't have it, all you have to do is go to Browse More and then search for Static FBML. Okay? In this case, I've already added it. Uh, the second step in the process is you're going to go into the FBML application and you're going to create the thank you page first and there's a reason for this uh, in in our case I took an image and uh, basically it's a picture of that cloud saying thank you okay I said image source image source thank you for signing up you'll be hearing from us very soon there's a little bit of styling on the font someone who knows HTML on your side should be able to show you how to do this very very simple okay you create that you click on save changes the next step is you want to create another instance of static FBML. And you do that right underneath, down at the very bottom, it says add another FBML box. You click on that, okay? And it says you have successfully added new FBML. To configure the box, click edit. You go up to the very top and you'll see a link. It says edit. So you click on edit. You go to the back of your Facebook page where you deal with everything, all right? and you'll see the other instance of FBML. It will just show up automatically. All right. So that's the uh, thank you page. Now we need to create the page that actually collects the email. So what I've done is I've created one here and you create the another instance. It says join the ranks in this case. I have some text right here. All right. Uh, we're looking for some volunteers for a super duper top secret event. To find out more, please enter your name, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Now, the next step in the process is you go to your email vendor, be it Constant Contact, AWeber, whoever is dealing with your, whoever provides your email service, and you get from them what's called a web form. Okay? In my case, I use a service called AWeber. All right? Which, by the way, they have a 25% discount. Um, for, for nonprofits. So, uh, what I do is I go, you go in here, I just literally grab the form. It says publish, and this is AWeber. Every single service provider is going to be totally different, all right? Um, and you have JavaScript. You don't want to embed JavaScript into a Facebook page, it's probably not going to work. You click on raw HTML, or you just get the pure HTML, all right? You copy it, you go over to the FBML application and then you copy it right into it, okay? All this stuff right here, it's gibberish. You don't need to understand it. You just have to copy paste. At the very bottom, you click on save, and then it generates the form for you. Okay. The final thing that you wanna do, but you wanna go to the thank you for joining the ranks page that you created, and click on link to this tab. This is the link that you want your email service to forward to, okay? So the idea is that you enter the email on the Join the Ranks page, then automatically that form, once you hit enter, that form will forward you to this page right here, okay? 
So you want to make sure that your email subscription service has the ability to forward the user to a specific web page after they're done clicking join. My name, I'll put me at johnhayden.com, name, email, click sign up now, and then it will automatically forward me to this page right here. So they can join the ranks, then they can keep, they can continue doing what they were doing on Facebook.